Hello, I'm Eli for Edu for Java, and this is uh, the tutorial number eight of SQL. In this tutorial, we are going to delete uh, registers. For this, I have created a new table, publisher number three, which is a copy of publisher two. Publisher three is full of registers, so we can delete them. The first thing we'll do um, it, we're going to see the syntaxes of delete. Okay, here we've got the syntaxes. We have to write delete from and the table in which we want to delete registers and optionally the word clause. If we don't write anything in the word clause, we'll be deleting all the rows of the table. If we put something inside the word condition, only the ones which have this condition will be uh, deleted. This we've already seen. Okay, let's do a small exercise. Let's start with the table publisher 3. Let's delete from publisher 3, which is this one. And we're going to delete the register number 3, this one. The one which has id publisher equal 3. Delete uh, registers through the primary key is the most normal thing. The primary keys is a unique identifier of a register, so it's the way, the best way to delete it, really. Okay, there's an error. Uh, it's because I didn't put edu here in the um, database by default. Um, in the schema by default. Okay, we execute, we put it here. We now, it doesn't give us an error anymore, we execute and yes, uh, we deleted, we can see that we deleted the register number 3. We are not obliged to delete by the primary key. We could do it by, for example, the name. We could say name equals edu, for example. The thing is uh, that here we have only three registers, but um, if we had thousands of registers, we don't know if edu is unique, and maybe we just want to delete one and we delete several. But anyway, just to show you, we can do it. Let's execute and see it has been deleted. Now we can delete all the table. We execute and we see there's nothing left in the table Publisher 3, here, you can see. Let's continue with Publisher 2 table. This table has four registers, as we can see here. Another way to delete is to use the instruction called Tuncate. We we'll write it here, Tuncate, Publisher 2. Tuncate is very simple. It just accepts the name of the table. It doesn't allow where or anything else. It deletes all the table. Here, be careful you don't have this selected um, when you execute. Here, okay. We can now come here and see that there's nothing left. Tuncate is not really a DML instruction, the data manipulation language. It's a DDL. Internally, what it does is a, a drop of the table and a creation of a new table, like the one before, but empty. It is very useful when there is a lot of register. For example, if you have a million registers and you can take a long time to re run a delete of this million registers. Tuncate is automatic. The disadvantage is that you can't delete choosing what you want to delete. It just deletes all the table. Okay, um, this is all for today. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.